Yo, what's good with you? In today's video, I got the how to make um the down slam. Uh, I mean, it's different depending on the game. So some some battlegrounds games, it's down slam punch. Some games like a down slam kick. So you know, what's up to everybody who's watching the premiere right now? Thank you to everyone who's watching. Whether you're watching the premiere, the video, when I just what's up to everybody and stuff. Thank you guys for all the, all the love and support you guys been showing all my videos. Really do appreciate it. We are, I think we're about to hit like six point four thousand and stuff like that. But yeah, we're about to be halfway to seven thousand. I'll be going crazy with all the love and I appreciate it for real. Anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. Okay, so if you watched the um, if you watched. So by the time this video comes out, I think the uppercut video probably came out like a week ago. If you watch that, the code is literally very similar. So if you watched and have my and have the script from the how to make the uppercut from the better from strongest battlegrounds, then I would my advice would be to copy and paste, use like copy and paste the script, right? And then just change, just modify the things that I changed. Because I don't, I just literally just use the same script, changed a couple things, and yeah. But anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into it okay so first things first of course you're going to need a punch sound go to the toolbox go to audio and then you'll just say punch and you'll get your sound right punch kick whatever type of sound you want right then we can insert a remote event into replicated storage we can rename set remote event combat event right and then of course you're going to need an NPC to test uh the uh, attack on so you click avatar rig builder you know build your desired rig right then we can open up starter player insert a local script into starter player scripts we can rename uh local we can rename the local script to combat script in parentheses put local boom right we can delete print hello world and then we need we need to get two we need to make two variables first let's get the user input service so we're going to say local uis is equal to game get service user input service then let's get the combat remote event let's say local combat event is equal to game that replicated storage ready for child combat event right then we're going to say uis that input began colon connect function in parentheses put input comma process enter you're going to say if input dot user input type is equal to nm dot user input type i'm going with mouse button one and stuff because you usually use for m1s and stuff because usually down slam is usually like the third or fourth attack on an m in an m1 system right and not process which means the player is not typing in chat while clicking then enter you're then going to say combat event fire server in quotation marks put down slam let's name the event right then we can go ahead and move on to the server script so we can insert a server script into server script service you guys are going to need two animations you can't use my ids you have to use your own just go to the toolbox type in combat animations and you'll find them this is a knockback animation this is the down slam animation so you're going to take both your animations put them inside of the script you can uh, click the plus icon and then just type animation name them throw your ids in the animation id part and boom you should be good to go okay so we can go ahead and rename the script to combat script in parentheses put server boom then we're going to delete print of the world we're going to make a couple of variables first so let's get our services first we're going to say local ds is equal to game get service debris right then we're going to get the sound service we're going to say local ss is equal to game get service sound service right then let's get the combat remote events we can really just copy and paste that from the local script so just select it control c control v and then for our last variable we're going to create a table we're going to say local can't be attacked these are players who are currently being attacked and who can't be attacked right then we're going to create our first function we're, we're going to have two functions total so first thing first let's say game dot players the player added connect function in parentheses put plr show for player then enter you're then going to say player dot character added to so this function will run every single time a player is i mean a character is added so when the player first joins and then when they, every time they die so connect function in parentheses put character then enter you're going to say we're going to create the hitbox so okay just have to double check so i'm going to create the hitbox so i'm going to say local hitbox <clears throat> is equal to instance dot new notation marks and sorry not hitbox <laughs> i'm going to put parts sorry and then we're going to parent this to the characters humanoid root part right then enter you're going to create a weld constraint so we can weld it together so local weld constraint is equal to instance dot new quotation marks put weld constraint parent this however to the hitbox and then you're going to say weld constraint that part zero is equal to hitbox and then weld constraint dot part one is equal to character dot humanoid root part right then we're going to say hitbox dot name is equal to quotation marks hitbox enter you're then going to say hitbox dot anchored is equal to false and hitbox dot list is equal to true 
and hitbox that can collide is equal to false. We don't want players to be able to you know make contact with it. And then you're gonna say hitbox that transparency is equal to one. Now, if you're testing it, you want to see how big the hitbox is. Then set it to like 0 0.5. But obviously in real game, you want to set it to one because you don't want players to be able to see the hitbox, right? Then you're gonna say hitbox that size is equal to. You guys can go with whatever size you want, but the size of elements was vector three dot new. And I went with five comma six comma five point five is what I went with. And for the color, color doesn't really matter, but I went with red. So color three dot new, one comma zero comma zero. Enter. Then I'm gonna say hitbox pivot to character dot humanoid root part dot c frame right. And then boom, just like that, guys, we're done with the first function. Let's set up the second function now. So we're gonna say combat event dot on server events connect function in parentheses put plr so for player comma event type then enter let's go down a little and then we're going to create a variable for the player's character let's say local character is equal to player dot character right then we're going to say if event type is equal to in quotation marks down slam right then enter and then you're going to set up the animation track you're going to say local at is equal to character dot humanoid load animation and then uh, parentheses quotation marks you're gonna sorry parentheses and script regular bracket quotation marks and then you're going to get the uh what's it called the uh down slam animation then you're going to play the animation track so play boom right then you're also going to play your sound effects so whatever your name is your punch of your punch sound effect right and then i'm going to make it so the hit the uh, hitbox can be uh can be touched so we're going to say character uh, you, you know, I feel like we, yeah, I, feel, I would say a lot of time if I just made a hitbox variable. So I'm just do this. I didn't even do this the first time. Let me just add this. So we're gonna say local hitbox equal to character that humanoid root part that hit. Yeah, this will just save time, honestly. So we're gonna say hitbox on that can touch is equal to true, right? Then we're gonna set up a function. We are going to say uh hitbox that touched connect. Sorry, connect function right in parentheses you're going to put hit and enter and then we're going to set if statement we're going to say if hit that parent find first child in quotation marks I mean, parentheses then quotation marks we're going to say humanoid so it's either an npc or a player and hit that parent that name is nil equal to player name which means that we're of course we're not attacking ourselves and not table dot find can't be attacked hit that parent that name right and then enter we got to make sure that they are able to be attacked so enter boom right and then let's go down a little more then we're going to create a variable for the enemy character we're going to say local enemy character you can do hit that parent right and then i'm going to enter the names of the table i'm going to say table dot insert can't be attacked comma enemy character dot name and then i'm going to make it so that the hitbox can't be touched anymore so i'm going to say uh, hitbox that can touch is equal to false then i'm gonna throw a task that weight so task that weight 0 0.2 seconds i want to make i want to clarify that this is this wait time is based off of my animation speed it's based off the way my animation is so if you're using a different animation which you probably will be is it low chance you would find the animation i'm using since there's like a whole bunch of combat animations but yeah so you may have to adjust this time to, so that you can make sure it's in sync and stuff because we're about to add like the knockback the right the, the knockback kind of knock down and the uh, right doll so Let's say local attachment is equal to instance that new invitation marks put attachment parent this to the characters humanoid root part sorry not character enemy character i made that it's crazy i literally made the same mistake in another video but anyway so enemy character <clears throat> then i'm going to create the linear velocity let's say local linear velocity is equal to instance that new invitation marks put linear velocity you want to parent this over to the attachment then you're going to say linear velocity that max force is equal to five nines. So boom. Then we're going to set the vector velocity. So vector velocity is equal to in parentheses put new character that humanoid root part that position minus enemy character that humanoid root part that position. Then you're, you're going to go on the outside and do dot unit times vector three dot new zero comma three hundred comma negative five because we don't really care about like knocking them back we're not really trying to knock them back far it's more so just like a little bit backwards and down if that makes sense but you can adjust the numbers to fit whatever it is you know you're trying to do so we can say linear velocity dot attachment zero is equal to attachment right then we're going to uh you know take away some health so we're going to say enemy character dot 
humanoid that health is less than equal to 10 or however much damage you're trying to do then we can say ds add item attachment comma zero by one second right and then we're going to set up the second animation track let's go up here and let's copy and paste Control c Control v this is the knockback animation if you include in, uh one but you probably should anyway so you're going to say knockback animation change that there and then change this to enemy character right then after that we're going to do the ragdoll so enemy character dot humanoid just in case we're going to do humanoid rupert dot anchored is false i hope i spelled anchored yeah i think it's spelled right and then i'm going to say enemy character dot humanoid rupert dot c frame is uh we say times equals c frame dot angles and then we're going to say math dot radius for radians 180 degrees or sorry radians comma zero comma zero right and then I'm going to throw a test that way, so test that way 0.1 second. And then I'm going to remove the name from the table. So table.remove can't be attacked, comma, table.find can't be attacked, comma, enemy character dot name. Make sure you're using the right character so you don't get enemy character and regular character confused. And then after the two ends, you're going to uh, put a test that way, test that way 0.2 seconds. Boom. And then lastly, you're going to say, you're going to actually set a character. You're going to say hitbox and reference to hitbox. So hitbox dot can touch is equal to false and just like that guys we are done we can go ahead and test to make sure it works as always if you guys want access to any any of my scripts or models you guys can become either a channel member or a discord subscriber link to either one of those options can be found in the description and stuff um you guys should definitely join the discord server where i like you know, i'm like halfway to three thousand members you guys should definitely join but anyway let's go ahead so we have our rig right here so if i um click boom so honest i really like the animation i found i don't know i do really like it but yeah so boom it reminds me of like when Gojo kicked, when Gojo like was punching Miguel, honestly, from the JJK movie. But anyway, so boom, as you guys can see, this is our this is our little thing we got going on and stuff like that. Um, you can really mess around with the numbers and stuff with the uh, you know, the knockback, the um, ragdoll and stuff to get your desired result. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely leave like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.